Welcome back guys. All right, so now in this lecture, we are gonna look at the conversion from a smaller to larger digit. Okay, that's the short trick for the conversion from smaller um, prefix to a larger prefix, meaning from going from bottom to top, okay, any number from bottom to top. In the previous lecture, we did from larger to smaller. So now let's look at it. Okay, I've cleared out the space. This is 10 raised to the power of 9, 6, 3. All right. So I've written down the prefixes right over here again. Now, what if you need to convert from the smaller number to the larger number? And uh, what's a short trick? Okay, we've done the basic method. We've done the long method, but what's a short trick? Okay, for example, if you are going from 1 kilometers, so let's say how many gigameters, so how to do that. All right, now guys, remember, whenever you are going from smaller number to a larger number, the larger number will have a smaller numerical value, a smaller number, smaller numerical value. Okay, that's the rule. It will have a smaller number as compared to the smaller uh, prefix from which you are going the smaller prefix will have a larger number written to it now let me explain that for example right over here from kilo to giga first of all again you need to uh, just find out the difference in their powers okay this is 10 raised to the power of 9 this is 10 raised to the power of 3 you need to convert it from kilo to giga what's the difference in between them it's 9 minus 3 which is 10 ratio, uh, sorry, not 10, which is 6, right? The difference is 6, and now you need to convert it from kilo to giga. So basically, you're just gonna say that 1 kilometers is actually equal to 10 raised to the power of 6, but this time, guys, remember, we are going from smaller to larger. This number cannot be bigger than the, the prefix then the smaller prefix that you have, you're just gonna add a negative sign right over here, okay? So now 10 raised to the power of minus six is actually smaller than one, right? It's smaller than one. So one kilometers actually equals 10 raised to the power of minus six gigameters. So when you're going from larger prefix to a smaller prefix, you will always have 10 uh, you will always have a 10 which will have a larger number, sorry, a larger number as compared to the, um, the, the number of the larger prefix. Okay, this is what we discussed in the previous lecture. Whereas in this lecture, when you are going from smaller to larger, you will have the result, you will have the larger number with a smaller, the larger prefix with a smaller number. Okay, Let's, let me try a few more examples over here. Okay, what if you are going from 10 raised to the power of 3 to 10 raised to the power of 6, meaning you are going from 1 kilometers is equal to how many megameters? But in that case, again, you need to find the difference. The difference is 3, right? So it's going to be 1 raised to the power of 3, but this time you are again going from smaller to larger. Smaller to larger. So if you are going from smaller to larger, switch the sign of the power. So it's going to be minus 3 megameters. Now let's try another example. What if you're going from one decimeters to kilometers? Okay. What is decimeters equal to how many kilometers? One decimeter is equal to how many kilometers? So over here, again, you're going to find the difference in between the powers. Deci means minus one. Kilo means three, right? What's the difference in between them? It's three minus minus one, which is four, right? So the number is going to be 10 raised to the power of four. But this time, it's going to be negative. Why is it negative? It's negative because you are again going from smaller to larger number. Okay? Let's try another example. What if you are going from nano to, let's say, micro? Nano has a power of minus 9. Micro has a power of minus 6. What's the difference in between them? 9 minus 6, which is 3. This is the difference, right? So it's going to be 1 nanometers equals 10 to the power of 3, 
micrometers but guys remember one thing you are going from smaller digit or smaller prefix to a larger prefix so again the power is going to become negative it's going to be 10 raised to the power of minus 3 micrometers so let's try another example what if you are going from millimeters to decimeters okay one millimeters equals how many decimeters again this is a smaller digit because it has a more negative power this is a bigger digit or bigger prefix okay so again if you're going in this way what's first of all find the difference milli means 10 raised to the power minus 3 deci means 10 raised to the power minus 1 the difference is 2 right 3 minus 1 is 2 okay if 2 is the difference 10 raised to the power of 2 should be the answer but guys remember it's smaller to bigger it's going to be 10 raised to the power minus 2 that's the answer okay you can also write it as 1.0 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 2 which is actually the same thing okay and by the way examiners prefer your answers in this form rather than just writing the power of 10 let's try another example what if you're going from one um, centimeters to let's say gigameters all right so in this case again you need to first of all know the meaning of centi and giga centi is minus two giga is nine what's the difference between them so it's going to be nine minus minus two again it's 11 if it's 11 it's going to be 10 to the power of 11 but this time again you're going from smaller to larger so it's going to be minus 11 so going from one let's say decimeters to let's say now this time let's make it micrometers okay so this is actually not from smaller to larger but this is rather larger to smaller okay if this is larger to smaller then the power the difference first of all find the difference deci is minus one micro is minus six the difference is five units right so the answer is going to be 10 raised to the power of five but this time you're going from larger to smaller number correct if you're going from larger to smaller number you don't need to change the sign to negative the power will become will stay at its place so in short whenever you are going from larger prefix to smaller prefix find the difference in their powers and make that the power of 10 okay and whenever you are going in the opposite direction meaning when you are going from smaller to larger find the difference of their powers make it the power of them but this time also add a negative sign to it okay so this actually completes prefixes and their conversions fully okay thank you so much guys for your cooperation and for visiting okay guys if you still have any doubts Please uh, leave them in the comment section and I'll try getting back to you. Also guys, if you are new to this channel, so please support us by subscribing to it and by hitting the bell icon so that you can get notifications of the future videos which we are going to upload. Thank you so much.